Hey guys, today I want to take a quick look at Google's newest form of communication called Google Allo and let you know if it's even worth considering over the more popular third party messengers. Now it's going to work for both Android and iOS and when you first open it up, it's going to make you register your phone number in order to chat with your friends who also have Allo. You can still link your Google account, but it's not going to be used to back up your messages like WhatsApp or even communicate with others through their email addresses like Google Hangouts. So just to make it clear, you probably won't be using this as your main text messaging application because when you send an SMS to a friend who doesn't have Allo, they will receive your message but through a random five digit number instead of your personal one. In other words, you can still text a non-registered contact and they can respond to your messages, but it will just look like they're texting a telemarketer on their end until they install Allo. Plus you can only use Allo on your phone and not your tablet or computer. And if you switch to a different device, you'll have to set up the app all over. You'll lose your chats, profile pic, save name, and so on. So those are the only reasons you might not use this messenger, but here is what makes it all the better. When you begin chatting with your friends, it's very standard stuff. You can send pictures, videos, animated stickers, voice messages, your location, and regular messages with an emoji. But when you dig deeper, you can send gigantic text to make it look like you're yelling, or even tiny font to whisper by scrolling up and down on the send icon. There's also little check marks to let you know the status of your sent messages. A white check means it's been sent, green means it's been received, and two check marks means it's been read. I don't know where I've seen that before. Anyway, you can also tell when your recipient is typing something because three dots will begin to animate on the far left. So those are all features we've seen before, but this is where Google takes it one step further. When you receive a message, you have suggestions on what to send next. Most responses may seem a bit dull, but if you're someone who has a hard time keeping the conversation flowing, then this could be your best friend. Not only that, but if you at Google, you can use Google to help you find information on a specific topic. So if you type hamburger, it will show you nearby hamburger joints, along with directions, the menu, pictures, a phone number, and even an option to reserve a table right there in the conversation. And if you or your friend mention a popular keyword, a Google suggestion might appear right next to the automated replies. Where do these automated replies come from? Well, it's a feature called Google Assistant. You can think of this as Google Now being a contact on your phone where you can ask it anything and it will most likely find the answer. For example, if you're bored, it will find ways to entertain you, keep you updated on the news, find restaurants or events nearby, the weather, translation, flight information, sports, and much more. Now let's say the AI gets something wrong. You can tap on the thumbs down button to give it feedback so maybe next time it does it better. Or if you like what it's responding with, you can give it a thumbs up. I think it's a great feature as I can get most of my information within a conversation and not have to open up a third party app instead. There's also an option to chat privately. You basically start an incognito chat and in result this will make your messages disappear after a set time period and have them be encrypted end to end. Notifications you receive won't display the details and it's very easy to differentiate from a regular conversation. Just keep in mind that you won't have Google Assistant peeping in with any suggestions. I would probably only use this if I wanted to send my friend my Netflix password, or maybe if I wanted to sex my girlfriend, which I would never do of course. So that's basically how Allo works. It does show a lot of potential, especially with Google Assistant being its main pillar, but I do think the complicated SMS integration is a bit of a step back, so that's probably why I won't be using this as my main messenger, unless most of my friends decide to hop on this in the near future. Either way, that's it for this video, hope you guys enjoyed it. Make sure to drop a like if you enjoyed this presentation, check out our social media pages, and I will talk to you guys in the next one. Kapow!